A prerequisite for the one for all power was to have an exceptionally sturdy body, as the raw power of the quirk would be too much for an untrained body to contain, resulting in the implosion of the person who tried to absorb it. Whether Nana trained to receive the power or was already in perfect shape is unknown. Regardless, her body was visibly well built, with an impressive muscular structure that allowed her to correctly house the immense energy of the quirk. Due to the power of one for all, Nana undoubtedly possessed immense physical ability that was presumably almost unrivaled in her time. The quirk allowed Nana to stockpile raw energy within her body and use it drastically to increase her strength, durability, speed and agility. She could focus the raw power into a single body part and could manipulate how much of her maximum energy capacity she utilized. She could also spread the energy across her entire body, allowing for even an increase in capability upon her entire physique. Due to the nature of the quirk, Nana was naturally less powerful than her pupil All Might. Additionally, she was unable to defeat her arch nemesis all for one, despite her tremendous strength. I don't write songs, I just cry on